we're about to enter the newly organized closet. I, just, um, I don't think I went into detail um, on my before video, but these were already here. So these were, um, I don't know, somebody gave them to me. There's two sets and I just like the way it looked in the entryway here to give a little bit of a different look. And I didn't show you the lighting in here, which was already there, of course. So on the left, um, I picked up this dresser from Ikea. Um, it's like the main thing that I bought actually for the closet. And um, I don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will put it in the info bar um, and the link to it and everything. It's really nice. It has like frosted glass front drawers. And then you can buy these at Ikea to the little pack of organizers to put in the drawers. So you can organize your underwear and socks and everything really nice. Um, and I just like the idea of the dressers being on the side now because it just opens up everything. But then you still have space, you know, so you can put your cologne and watches and everything. Um, over here we have like shirts, short and long sleeve, but they're all color coordinated, light to dark. And then shoes are up top. Um, this was already in, this whole organizer thing was already here. Just moved it over to this side and put the beanies and hats and stuff like that in there. Um, and then on the right side is jackets and sweatshirts, color coordinated. And then on the middle section here, I kind of decided last minute to do a vanity. I was originally going to do a vanity with my desk in my room. Um, but I just like the idea of everything like jewelry and makeup kind of being a little bit more enclosed and not out in the middle of the bedroom. So, um, I decided the day I was actually moving everything, um, that I would make it into a vanity because it's got this great mirror on the wall. But the only thing was it was really hard to find something that fit in this little indentation because it's only 32 inches wide. So that day of moving everything, um, I looked at my entry table and I thought that just might fit. Um, this side, actually the flat side was against the wall. So I had to turn it around so it would fit because this uh, is obviously like round on that side. So it has this space on each corner. Um, but again, it just worked out because I had these little containers that I purchased at Target. They were a dollar each, they're like gray color. And all I did was just put a nail in the wall right there and kind of hook it on. And then this end rests against the table. So it's very sturdy um, and it's perfect to house makeup. So I will briefly go over my makeup collection really quickly um, just to show you what's in here. So foundations, concealers, um, I got a new brush holder. That was from Ikea actually, the vase was $1.99. And I got some new filler at Michael's. It's like, looks like crushed glass. It's really pretty. Um, picked up a new frame, that's from Target. And uh, just to kind of remind you guys, I do want to show you things that are like budget friendly. So majority of stuff that you have in your house, you can kind of reuse, which I've done a lot with all this stuff. So for instance, these little cubes right here, they, I have a set of four and they usually hang on the wall. Um, but I thought that they fit perfectly just to put on the vanity to kind of stack things, give it height. You don't have to have everything the same level. Um, and so then I had this from one of my bathrooms. It was a toothbrush holder, so I use it for my pencils. Um, I just have like a eyeshadow palette right there. This is a cute little eyelash holder that like you use for your the eyelashes you're using currently. You can store them in there. And then this is just a pencil holder that I have my mascara and eyelash curler and tweezers in. And then on this side I have like eyeliner, some of my like metallic kind of um, eyeshadows, um, bronzers, blushes. Um, and then this I had picked up at TJ Maxx probably like a year or two ago. Never put anything in it because I just didn't get around to doing it. Um, obviously it's a jewelry container but I discovered that it works really well for like single eyeshadows. So they fit in there perfectly and you can organize them nicely. So did that. Um, and then on this side here, I found this at Michael's. Um, can't remember the price. I think it was $4.99 because I had a coupon and obviously it's meant to hang in the closet, but I just put a um, nail right there and it kind of wedged itself in there perfectly. So now I can have my like chunkier necklaces all hung up. 
Um, and then this really is a cool detail. I found these at uh, Ikea. I'm gonna rant and rave about these because I have some in my bathroom too, totally different, that I'll show you in the next video. They're decals, so they come off no problem. They're not gonna leave any residue or anything. They're not gonna ruin your walls or mirrors. Um, it's like a whole pack you get like eight or no, I think this one has like four sheets and it was like $9.99 So you can accent any mirror and you can actually, you know, use pieces of these and make artwork to put in frames So I love that little touch just to something different uh, There's my old self right there in my dancing years <laughs> Thought I would remind myself of the glory days um, and then the only thing left that I have to do in here is figure out what to do with this because this is just a old thrift like stool that is totally like falling apart. It's got wicker on the top so I might cover it or something or just get something completely different. I did buy just like a little storage drawer unit in here. Um, this actually was from Michaels and I put all of my um, lip glosses and lipsticks in there. So they're easily accessible since obviously I don't have any drawers in this little vanity. So that can go there. So on this side, I have dresses, skirts, um, I have jackets back there. And then down below here, um, this is like my craft area right here. So I keep all my craft stuff in there. And this um, box, this is again all stuff I already had. I just kind of reorganized it all. And then... Here I have boots down there. I have some boots in there. And then I have just like a little iPod setup if I want music. Um, in this basket, I have scarves. And I have my like free weights right there. Um, then I have jeans. And then I purchased this basket just to organize my purses. I originally had them hanging up. Um, if you remember, like right here, there was a bar going across here. I took the bar out and I had them hanging on these little hooks right here. It's like an over the door hanger. But I decided to hook that onto the front of my dresser and use it to kind of um, display my current bag that I'm using. Um, let's see. This I picked up, I don't remember where, probably Walmart or Target. It's just a belt hanger. It, look, it works really, really well. Um, and then on top here, I have sunglasses, my hair extensions, hair secret extensions. Oh, and I wanted to mention that I'm gonna put a coupon code for hair secret extensions in this video too. So that link will be below. Another reminiscent photo. Um, and then my perfumes. Um, I have just a display here for my smaller necklaces that I wear often. And then my bracelets and my watches. And then I don't think I showed this in a tutorial, but something similar I made with like a candle holder and a mason jar that I painted and decorated. These wine glasses are great because um, if you want to display like your pretty earrings, they can just hook right onto the side. And then over here, um, I just did my hanging shirts, like my button down shirts and stuff like that and sweaters, color coordinated, light to dark. Um, and then I have my regular like t-shirts and stuff in one of the drawers. Um, in this drawer, I'll show you really quick. I had it like this before, um, all my jewelry. So I have all my earrings. Um, this is continually always being organized because I go through it periodically to get rid of stuff I don't wear anymore. And rings, bracelets. I have them all coordinated silver and gold separately or colors. Lastly, I think is just up top, I have my shoes. Um, and I have also a little rack over here that I have like my sneakers. I have these Victoria's Secret boxes that I've had for a bit that I just put some labels on for things that I don't use very often like scarves and hats. And so really the only um, two things I have left is that ugly stool and then I want to get some lighting for this area to actually be able to see my makeup right now I can't do it it's not bright enough with this light so I'm going to get some sort of like LED lights or something that I'm gonna put maybe over here or something makeup lights that I can actually see myself to do it in so um, again guys you know just look around your when you start organizing and like getting rid of stuff and going through things you find new uses for things you already had so I highly encourage you to 
um, organize and decorate on a budget. You can, you don't have to spend a lot of money. This was the most expensive thing that I purchased for the whole closet organization. Um, so everything I did get though, I will list below and tell you where I got it. Um, that's it for now. Make sure you stay tuned for part three where I will show you the bathroom. And then it might be part three that I show you the bedroom too, I'm not sure. Or that might be um, a totally separate video. So thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you next time.